All right. So we've got our nutrients in here. The first one that you want to add is uh, the micronutrients. And there is a reason for that. I can't explain it. Uh, I think I think if you uh, do some re research, you may find that it has something to do with causing them certain nutrients to lock out. Uh, but anyway, we're going to put the micronutrients in and give them a shake here. I'd say we have about three or four gallons of water in there. It only takes about you know, you know, maybe a teaspoon, one to three teaspoons of the nutrient per gallon. Uh, so I'm going to, you, know, you, could, you could use a, a measuring spoon. It's a tablespoon, which would be three teaspoons. Uh, let's just go ahead and give that a try. Give it a stir. And we're going to add the floor grow. to it, just the three parts. Uh, let's see what the uh, PDS meter says now. It's showing about 585, which is uh, it's climbing. It's, it's maybe going to level off. Yeah, it's back to 585. Um, I, I think that's a pretty good uh, that's a number that works pretty good for mine peppers that I'm growing. Uh, some plants may like a little bit stronger concentration. Uh, I've had it as high as 14 or 1500 before, uh, and that seems a little bit high, especially for peppers. But uh, you know, that's around 600 parts per million, um, and just a three-part solution there. So I'm not going to use any more of those. That's good for there. You could get uh, a pH meter to test your pH, but I use uh, this liquid pH. You just uh, fill a sample bottle up with the solution. And uh, put a few drops in there, about three or four drops. Lid on it. Give it a shake. And just compare it to the color. There's a which this bottle has <laughs> seen better days, but there's a, a color chart on there and you just compare it to that. And if you use sunlight, it gives you some truer colors. So pH is uh, right around six. You know, if you had a pH meter, it would tell you it's 5.9 or 6.2 or something more accurate. But that seems to be plenty good enough for my purposes. So we've got the nutrient solution in the bucket. It's uh, Right there, we can see it on our tube. We've got our air stone right here, and it's connected to just a, a little aquarium pump. This particular one's a really cheap one. It's probably five or six dollars. You know, they're really cheap. Um, just some aquarium airline tubing. Let's stick that in there. It's gonna sit on the bottom of the bucket, and it's blowing bubbles. The bubbles are breaking on the surface there. And uh, as those bubbles break, it's going to create just a little bit of you know, uh, water droplets, and it's going to keep this stuff wet. Um, and that's all there is to it. You are ready to grow. Uh, if you're using artificial lighting, you know, you put, put your lighting over this, or today we're using the sunshine. Um, you know, you'll want to change your nutrient solution out 
I've, I've tried it several different ways. Uh, probably what's recommended is to change it every week or two. And, you know, if you've got a small plant, it's no big deal. You lift the top off and go dump the bucket. But when your plant gets big and it's too big to move around like that, you can just take this, uh, this tube here and drain it out, no problem. Yeah, we're making a video here. Hmm. What? But uh, that is all there is to it. And I don't know, I didn't add all of this up. The hydrogen, you know, they sell it in 40 pound bags. A 40 pound bag will probably do 40 of these buckets, so you don't really need to buy that much. My local hydro store will sell you a smaller quantity. Uh, are ready to put the seeds in there and grow. That's all there is to it. So we'll go show you uh, some of the stuff that I'm actually growing in, in some buckets uh, just like this and show you what they're capable of doing. Okay. Here's some more buckets I put together a couple weeks ago. Um, just basically the same thing except for I've got them connected to a, a reservoir, which is a 55 gallon drum I buried part of the way in the ground out there. Uh, there's a pump in it and it's, it's just recirculating water to each one of them and it drains back through a drain system, drains right back. Uh, so you can, you can expand on the single bucket system. Uh, this one here, I don't know which one was I looking at earlier, this one. Uh, it's actually got some roots starting to uh, come out and you can see inside here the the bubbles from the air stone is keeping the the roots and everything moist in uh, the first uh, week or so after I put the seedlings in there I would water them from the top and with this I could just use this uh, oh I've got it unplugged right now uh, because I had to plug the camera in but uh, water normally flows out of here and, uh, I would water them from the top. I don't have to do that anymore because the roots are, are staying plenty moist from the, the air stone and, and pretty soon they'll be actually growing into the nutrient solution. And uh, we'll go take a look out at the, in the greenhouse at some bigger plants that have been growing for quite a while and you can see what what these are capable of producing. They can build grow some really good sized plants. Now I am. So, uh, okay. And uh, these are peppers that are growing in the same exact same type five gallon buckets I just happen to have them uh, connected to these other five gallon buckets I'm using as reservoirs uh, there's a little pump in there so it keeps the buckets filled when, when a plant gets this big and it's hot it'll, it'll use a lot of nutrient solution and water it'll you know I have to fill these buckets up every day and uh, you know they're, they're down to just a gallon or so of water by the end of the day in their five gallon buckets. So, and there's uh, there's 10, 10 growing buckets here, but only about, uh, there's about four of them that don't have any plants actively growing in them. So there's, there's six plants growing and they're using about, uh, probably about a gallon or more of water each per day. So that's a lot. And uh, you can tell they, you know, there's a lot of peppers forming on here. I've got some, starting to ripen. These are, uh, these are seven pod Jonas. Uh, should be really hot. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, I don't know if you can reach over here. Now. Pretty sure I can. There's uh, three different types of uh, Trinidad yellow scorpions in here. Um, there's uh, These are yellow scorpion SRs in uh, that's a that's a big old pepper right there. Um, it's it's starting to ripen. There is one that's that's already you know, it's fully ripened. I'll probably pick that in a few days. There's some leaves in the way. But uh, those are those are pretty hot. Uh, there's some others, a different a different variety of Trinidad yellow scorpions. Um, the they're not ripe yet, but uh, you can tell the the unripe color is a lot lighter and they're a little bit smoother, they're not as wrinkled. Um, don't know how hot these are going to be, I haven't tried one yet. Uh, and 
the uh, the third type is a uh, yellow scorpion and this is the I'm pretty sure this is the Cardi strain here and uh, that is my favorite pepper it is just a great tasting pepper um, not not as hot as these uh, these are Harold St. Bart's it's a it's a habanero type pepper they're really hot uh, and they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty they're huge peppers and they're just loaded up with them uh, can't get that the camera won't reach there we're having to use the power adapter on the camera because the battery's dead but, you know that's that's what these five gallon buckets are capable of growing uh, so peppers are are my hobby so something else it's a different type of hydroponic setup uh, and I, I grew strawberries in here these look terrible um, I, I've neglected them they're just growing in pure water right now because I haven't added any nutrient solution in months but uh, I had fresh strawberries I, I ate strawberries not a lot but I ate them all winter long but the way this one works the reservoir is down here uh, there's a pump in there that's pumping up through this tube and uh, wow the, the plants are so big you can't really get a good look at it but uh, it uh, these are just it's like vinyl fencing material and uh, it's got those mesh pots and the plants are growing in those about every I don't know eight inches or so and the nutrient solution runs through that the pump pumps it up and it, it runs through these tubes and drains right back to the reservoir. It's worked really good. Through this big basil here. It smells good. But it's just growing in plain water. I mean, like I said, I haven't added nutrients in a long time because I, I just have been lazy and haven't taken the time to clean this out. This needs to be all cleaned out and ready to start growing something else. Or strawberries again or but uh, so that's a, a couple of different types of hydro setups that are real simple and easy to do. Uh, uh, I've, I've enjoyed making the systems and tinkering with them. And um, thank you, Mel, for the video, the camera work. So that's about it. Have a good day.